is Gianna Lianas. I am a sports reporter, TV host, and beauty queen. And I'm here right now at CSA Medical Aesthetics to address some of my concerns. So personally, I work in front of the camera. I'm always on cam, um, whether it's hosting or even just taking pictures or even in pageants. And of course, you want to look your best, even with minimal makeup. So that's why I decided to come here to visit today. And as I mentioned, address some of my concerns. I am always wearing a lot of makeup to be on cam. And with that, I'm always at the beach too. So I do have a lot of sun exposure. And for me, eye contact, especially when you're on camera, is most important because I feel like everybody looks at your eyes. And that's what we are going to tackle today. So I do have a little bit of crow's feet developing and my eyes are just naturally droopy and I always want to look awake when I'm on camera or even when I'm communicating with someone in person. Lalina, these days we're wearing face masks. So as they said, we all communicate with our eyes. So I think we're going to do a few dermal fillers or threading for my crow's feet. We're going to address that and try to lift up my eyes section as well. I'm super excited because this is actually the first time I've arrived here at the new branch of CSA Medical Aesthetics. I did work with Doc Contessa a few years ago in their older branch and it's so great to see how much her brand has developed and how she's been able to help so many people, both men and women, feel more beautiful in their own skin. So I can't wait for the procedures that we are going to tackle today that we're going to explore. And with that, I'm really encouraging all of you, whether you work on camera, you work in the office, or even just staying at home, I definitely encourage you to check out CSA Medical Aesthetics, check out what they offer. So please do definitely check it out on their social media pages and come join me for my day here. Good day everyone, welcome to the CSA Medical Aesthetics. I'm Dr. Contessa, your Certified Aesthetic Physician. In today's episode, we'll be doing a Fox Tread Lift as well as Contour Cheek Tread Lift. For the first time, let's all welcome Miss Gianna. Welcome. Hello everyone, I'm so excited to be here. Yeah. Thank you for... Thank you for joining us in today's episode. So for Ma'am Gianna, okay, uh, looking at her face, Initially, the upper third of the face, okay, she has a concern of this brow and upper eyelid sagginess or a beginning sign of, I don't want to say aging, she's still young. <laughs> How young are you, Gianna? 26. Okay, so she's noticing already this droopiness here on the corner of the eyebrow or corner of the eye, okay? So that's also your concern, right? Yes. And whenever she smiles, I can see already some crow's feet, okay? fine lines, okay? Because they say that aging starts at 25. No! <laughs> see, whenever you smile, there's this uh, line on the side or corner of the eye. So it's due to the orbicularis oculi muscle, the contraction of it. These are the dynamic lines, okay? And mid-face, okay, looking at her, it, she also has a concern of this nasolabial fold here right and when you look at her side on the side view there's a beginning like um, a flat cheek contour here so the so-called og curve okay it's beginning to go away the so-called cheek convex curve okay so we want to of course restore the skin's elasticity the skin's firmness tightness we want to bring back that collagen formation, okay? And we wanted to prevent the signs of aging, okay? By the way, looking also at the lower third of the face, I noticed also a beginning bulge here. A beginning, the superior jowl is starting to bulge 
or go down. It's also because you have this nasolabial fold already here and on the corner of the mouse, there's a beginning downturning already. Okay, so those are areas that we need to work on. So we can start at this age of Gianna. She's 26. Okay, she can do non-surgical procedures and procedures that are more for enhancement and highlighting the beautiful features of the face. Okay, so for today's treatment, the non-surgical approach will be making use of our protein threads or our biostimulator threads. We'll show the treatment when CSA Medical Aesthetics return. And we're back, so we're doing the so-called Fox Tread Lift as well as the Contour Cheek Tread Lift for Gianna. Now, before doing the procedure, so we have done the assessment a while ago, now we can do our markings for our treatment. So, on the upper third of the face, I'll be doing the so-called fox tread lift here. So, the goal is to lift the arch and tail of the eyebrow region. And my entry point will be at the hairline region, okay? So, for Gianna, because she has an activity later on, this will be my entry point. I want to hide it. So there will be no marks later on when she has her like an interview or, or camera activity something, okay? Because a while ago we were saying that she has this droopiness here. She mentioned to me that it's a genetic uh, condition, okay? So it was genetically acquired, not uh, something from aging, okay? So we'll start with the hairline area, okay? So we have our single entry point here and when we do our insertion of our hug threads we make a so-called fanning technique like that okay same thing on the opposite side so entry point hidden here and we have a fanning method here okay so i was assessing her, the middle of the eyebrow it's still good she has a good uh, and tight skin here so i'll also work on the side of the eyes okay we'll be doing the so-called derma spring eye tread lift and my entry point will be here it's like making a, a line from your lateral canthus horizontal line like that but go like about 0.5 millimeter or rather 0.5 centimeter inferior to that so this will be my entry point and i will also be doing the so-called fanning technique this is to treat our crow's feet here or the loose skin here okay now if you don't want to make use of your Botox, this is an alternative treatment. So same thing here. Okay. So that's a fanning method. Now we'll also be doing the so-called cheek lift using our threads, our contour threads. So I'll be doing the so-called fish method or the kind of like the parallel method here. So that will be my approach. So just from the corner of the mouth to the pre-auricular region, you can make your fanning technique there. Rather, the linear method of threads there. And later on, I'll be also doing the so-called perpendicular approach using our inch threads. Okay, Because I noticed there's already like a beginning uh, downturning of this area here. And same thing on the lower third of the face. So we'll be doing the so-called kind of marionette lift with this kind of technique for our threads. So, parallel insertion techniques. Okay, so we'll anesthetize the upper third of the face via the so-called injection of our lidocaine at the entry point. Okay, so I'll use a lidocaine with epi, okay, entry point here, injection a little bit, like a minimal amount there and over here. Okay, so it's important to disinfect the area of treatment, so we'll make our entry point here for our right side here so one puncture there and then we'll use our spiral cog 60 millimeter for our lifting then insert and glide towards the eyebrow section in exhale then a linear approach at first so we have to reach the orbital ligament there to pull the 
upper eyelid as well. Okay. We can actually insert like three-fourths of the cannula here. Just the right insertion. Okay, there you go. And pull out. And our second thread. So this is a spiral cog 60 millimeter. So linear approach towards the tail of the brow. Okay, inhale, exhale. So just the right end point that is reaching our orbital retaining ligament. And out. And the final one. The final for this right side here. And a little bit diagonal towards the very tail end of the, the eyebrow. Okay, towards the tail end. Okay, and I'll exhale. And just reaching the right end point. Okay, there you go. Then pull a bit gently and cut. So we'll now do the corner of the eye. So we're starting with the right side and I use the derma spring thread so this has a 40 millimeter length thread and my goal is to insert the entire length of this cannula type and in a panning technique we're just gonna be inserting this towards the temple region some resistance there there you go and then pull out in a fanning method some resistance there then just glide onto that towards the temple and I'll be using five pieces of this on this side this is to improve the skin elasticity on this corner of the eye so for those people who don't want to use Botox anymore this is a treatment that you can choose or you opt to do so as to avoid any muscle weakening on the area. Okay. So some resistance on that side. So just make sure you insert the entire length of this cannula here. There you go. And my last strand for this side here. We'll finish with the fifth one. So just a gliding there. So you can twist a bit and pull out. Okay? So after the corner of the eye to treat the crow's feet, I can also do the cheek thread lift. I'll be using the PDO mono threads. And we have the so-called fish-like pattern. So again, we can disinfect the area. We can clean the area. I also have other disinfectants that are spray. And this is called Jeep. There you go. Okay. Some disinfectant there. And we'll use this mono PDO threads here so we can do the so called fish pattern technique. So, in a parallel approach, you can just insert this 30 millimeter threads. We'll be using 10 on this side here. Then after these 10 threads here, I can also include my inch thread or the so-called apple cheek threads to complete the cheek thread lift. There you go. So immediately after, you can also pull this out. Okay, there you go. Then pull out one time. And then we can also include our inch threads and covering this eye area, okay? So some pinpoint there and then this is a so-called apple cheek type of a thread lip. So this is perpendicular. A while ago was a parallel fish pattern. This is just a perpendicular approach. There you go. We'll be using 10 on this side to give that contour of the cheeks. So, it's an inch type of a PDO thread. So, it's like in a curvilinear approach. Okay. 
and we can improve also the nasolabial fold here and last one so I'll pull out and for my lower part of the face I'll be using my PDO thread again which is a longer type of a thread so we'll use the 60 millimeter length of our thread so I wanted to already prevent the marionette line there and the jowling there so this is a longer one it just parallel to the mandibular line that's one two we'll be using five threads here three four and a final one and a final long type of our video mono contour threads and we're done with the right side so let's move to the left side of the face left side we just pull out the threads and then after removing this we'll be showing the result to Gianna when CSA Medical Aesthetics returns and let's now show the result to Gian okay with done multiple injections of threads yes. and here's our mirror there you oh, go. Oh, wow. Yeah. Big so the difference for that. Right. The goal a while ago was to lift the corner of the eyebrow or tail of the eyebrow as well as the corner of the eyes because genetically you had this, it's inherent in you to have this droopiness of the upper yes. eyelid. And then we also did the derma spring treads on the corner of the eye to eradicate the crow's feet or the wrinkles. And we did the so called cheek thread lift and we also included some threads for the jawline region to prevent the jowling okay any feedback Gianna? no i love it i love it i can already see when i'm smiling there's no more crow's feet i exactly. feel like i look more awake right. yeah definitely definitely yeah. different for us it looks great um exactly. i do have some questions i yeah. feel like um i do have work mm -hmm. tonight so mm -hmm. would i be able to put makeup mm -hmm. on top of this so it's morning time, okay? Yes, yes. Actually, after this, we'll do some cryotherapy, mm -hmm. something to also close those injection points. Mm -hmm. And tonight, you can put on your, your makeup, okay? Awesome. It was yeah. grateful. Like, I didn't feel any pain throughout yeah. the experience, and you did it very fast and efficient. Right, because others are asking, is that painful? It looks painful, okay? It looks All painful. those multiple <laughs> injections, insertions of the threads, the long ones, cog threads, we've included that. Derma spring, something that is coiled in the in the cannula there, and it was a very tolerable yes, procedure, right? Definitely. So you don't look like you have a bruise right now. She's good. She's okay. Yay, thank you. Yeah. So for those people who really wanted the procedure that doesn't really have this long downtime or no so much marks like Diana, okay, she can still work tonight or do any activity. Well. This is a good uh, treatment to choose, okay? Mm -hmm. Although you've seen a lot of needles there, uh, we have we've used so much of those very tiny needles, very fine needles, somehow, um, I should say, there's no downtime for this. Yay, That's a good you. thing. And I can see an instant result. Look at the upper eye region. So when you say fox thread lift, the goal is to just lift the tail, the tail of the eyebrow or the corner of the eye and it's not working on the entire forehead region. We have procedures also that we lift, the, we, do, we do the so-called forehead thread lifting. And for Diana, I'm looking at her, so next time actually, let's still do some threads on the under eye region. So I don't want to touch the under eye region yet 
today because she has work tonight. So actually the under eye, there are cases that they tend to bruise on the eye area because we have a lot of palpebral vessels there. Okay, thank you, Gianna. Thank you really so much. Thank appreciate you. your time. I know you're so busy. <laughs> for busy people like Gianna, this is a good treatment. And prevention is better than cure. You were saying a while ago that, okay, don't wait till you're like, 40s, 50s, 60s to do treatments like this because when you reach those age and too much of the sagginess already, you have more procedures that are more invasive or we do those uh, quite very, very long cog tread lifting already. Okay, so if you have any questions, you may email us at csaskinclinic at yahoo.com. We have our FB page, CSA Medical Aesthetics, Instagram, CSA Medical Aesthetics. Our clinic is located here at the Infinity Shop, Pulong Marugul Angeles City. Contact number 0933-860-9193 or 0917-504-4268. Please do not fail to watch our other videos or the other episodes that we have. Just look at our channel, Contessa Salvador, and please do not forget to click like and subscribe as well. Gianna, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. God bless you. God bless you all. When it comes to natural beauty, you can trust the CSA Medical Aesthetics.